Hey what's going on guys, Andrew here from Skidmore Fitness and welcome back to another video. In today's video we are going to be talking about which spices and herbs have the highest antioxidant content. Before we get into the uh, exact list of the spices and herbs, I just want to take a second to talk about what antioxidants are, what free radicals are, and how we are going to be measuring the actual antioxidant content. So first off, let's talk about how we are measuring the antioxidant content. So we're gonna be using uh, something called ORAC. You might have heard of it before, but it stands for the Oxygen Radical Absorbance Capacity. It is essentially a lab test that attempts to quantify the total antioxidant capacity, or TAC, uh, of a certain food or in this case, a spice or an herb, by placing that substance, that food, in a test tube and exposing it to particular substances that induce and generate free radical activity that are particularly vulnerable to oxidation. The less free radical damage there is, the higher the antioxidant capacity is of that particular food. What's nice about the ORAC values is that they measure the particular substances within the food and not something like the actual vitamin content like vitamin C or vitamin E, which happen to also be antioxidants. So that briefly talks about what the ORAC is. Now I want to take a second to talk about uh, ant antioxidants. So we have heard and know that antioxidants are super good for us and we need them and we want them in high, high enough quantities, but not like super, super high. But why? Why are they good for us? What are they actually doing within the body? To put it simply, antioxidants are compounds that are found in foods that stop or delay the damage to cells. They are specifically targeting free radicals, which I will get to in a second, Understand that you can find antioxidants in all kinds of foods, not just spices and herbs. So what I'm going to be talking about in this video is specifically spices and herbs because uh, those are used to really boost flavor and some of the highest antioxidant foods happen to be found in spices. So how do antioxidants work? Well, you see, all that they really do is that they, they donate one electron and give it to a free radical particle, which essentially neutralizes that and allows it to no longer cause any cellular harm within the body. So once that uh, antioxidant donates one of those electrons, that free radical is now no longer a free radical and it did its job. With that in mind, let's talk about what the heck are free radicals. Again, we have heard this term used before, but what are they really and what are they doing within the body? A free radical is a kind of general term that is used to describe a compound in the body that is highly, highly reactive. Because of this highly reactive nature of these free radicals, it means that they can bind and attach them and ultimately damage normal cells, for example, DNA. Free radicals are created within the body every single day just because of metabolic reactions going on within our bodies like metabolism, breaking down nutrients, uh, any kind of like stressors within the body. In addition to that, we can get free radical damage from outside sources such as smoking, pollution, inhaling chemicals, or being exposed to certain substances. And as you can see in this chart, this gives you an idea of what uh, certain outside factors can play a negative role on free radical levels within the body. So now that we know what antioxidants are and free radicals are and the ORAC is, let's talk about the actual spices and herbs that have the highest content of antioxidants based on the same universal uh, measurement of approximately four grams. So these are all coming from plants. So without further ado, so at number 10, we have parsley. And the antioxidant capacity of four grams of parsley is 2,947 umols. At number nine, we have the Sichuan pepper. And this is good for any pepper lovers out there. The Sichuan pepper has an antioxidant capacity 
of 4,736 umols per four grams. Very close in front at number seven, we have Sage uh, with an antioxidant capacity of 4,797 umols per four grams. At number seven, we have Vanilla Beans. I know a lot of people like vanilla out there, so if you like vanilla and vanilla beans, this one is for you. Uh, the vanilla beans have an antioxidant capacity of 4,896 umols per four grams. At number six, we have one of my personal favorites, uh, turmeric. Aside from being filled with antioxidants, it's also an extremely amazing anti-inflammatory within the body, and its ORAC value is 5,083 umols per four grams. Coming in at number five is probably my favorite spice of all time, cinnamon. Cinnamon's value is 5,257 umols per four grams. At number four, another one of my favorites is thyme. Uh, its value is 6,295 umols. At number three, we have another one of my personal favorites, uh, rosemary. Uh, rosemary, aside from just smelling good, it just has such a nice, rich uh, flavor. It goes great with so many dishes. Its value is 6,611 umols per four grams. The number two spot, again, is another one of my favorites. It's going to be oregano, and its value is 7,011 uh, umols per four grams. And the number one spot is going to come from clove with a value of 11,611 umols per four grams. So that is kind of the, the top 10 list of spices and herbs with the highest oxygen radical absorbance capacity. It's kind of a, a tongue twister, sort of. But just keep in mind that it's not like these are the only spices and herbs that you have to consume. There are tons of other uh, spices and herbs that have high contents of antioxidants within them, plus other actual like foods, uh, like you know, fruits, vegetables, other plant-based stuff. So how can you kind of incorporate this information into your nutrition and your lifestyle? Simply just consume more of these, these foods. They are packed with flavor and you can really create some really tasty dishes by adding these spices uh, to your foods. Plus you get the benefit of the antioxidant content uh, as a bonus and you are essentially going to be decreasing the amount of free radicals within the body, which means that you're going to be healing better, there's going to be less inflammation, and you're going to be able to fight off and ward off uh, you know, illnesses. So there's a lot of benefits to consuming foods that are super rich uh, in antioxidants. So anyway, guys, I hope that you have learned something new. If you have, leave a comment down below of videos that you would like to see in the future. I'm gonna be trying to make uh, a lot more videos in the uh, future starting like right now. So if you haven't already, check me out on Facebook and Instagram. The links are in the description below. Don't forget to smash that like button. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.